What's up, boys? <laughs> Damn, I got the cameras, you got the cameras. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Uh, Kirk. Oh, Kirk, not too far from here. I look so much better in person than in the videos. You guys, you guys make it to the meet yet? Or? Yeah, yeah, we're just leaving from there. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Can I get a picture? Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Peeling up at the 76. We're in the R8 today. But there's a little bit of a surprise because uh, we got a couple more of these right in front of me. Uh, check this out. We got all the Skittles out here. Got the brand new RS5, and then we got, I don't even know how many times you multiply eight and what you get to get all of this right here. We got a Spider, Gen 2, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 2. I keep telling you guys, I can't let it go. It keeps following me around, and it's super hard to freaking completely get this out of my memory, but our old baby is here once again. I invited him out to this R8 meetup, and it perfectly fits in. It adds the color to the spectrum of all the different Audis. We might have even more later on, but we're going on a nice little Saturday morning foggy drive. So nothing like the sound of freaking over six V10s leaving 176 station. And now we begin the chaos of just trying to get out of here. <laughs> Who's gonna go win? Oh yeah. It's just always fun to drive with family, you know? And uh, I do get invited to these from time to time and I'm always busy so I can't make it out, but I'm super honored that, you know, it's a really cool group of guys and girls in this area that happen to be in this R8 family. It's fun to come out and join them. Although sadly, we just got separated and I just miss my light. Thank you, Nissan Versa. Freaking Coastal Canyon Road. The freaking FI exhaust sounds magnificent. I don't know what sounds better, my voice or the FI? Hey! Oh my god. Hey, he's flashing the lights. I can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Dude, look at these trees! This is so cool! All these freaking Audis going through the trees! Chucking up Ray! Here, chuck these nuts! Look at these! Oh my god! Got some classic American muscle and a red Miata! So, after that freaking gorgeous scenic drive, we have made it to our destination point where we will be grabbing some lunch. I want to say I'm probably the one R8 here who has the least amount of clearance around, so even though I'm following all of the same cars, I feel like these guys can go in places that this car with our H&R lowering springs at the height we're at and the freaking Vorsteiner kit in the front that we definitely don't want to damage. Uh, we just can't go to some of the same places, but everyone seems to take good care of their cars. They're all angling and everything. No idea where we're all going to park though. Beautiful cars. Thank you so much. I'm really digging your setup. Yeah? It's nice. Well, I gotta try and make mine as aggressive as possible to get up to this. <laughs> it's got the aggressive from factory. What year is yours? Uh, 2017. What year is your guys' again? 17. 17? Is this the uh, performance? Yeah. Nice. Performance. Nice. Not modified yet. <laughs> I like the yet. Last one got the sheepy twins on it. Oh, no way. Oh, wow. Okay. Damn. Yeah, we were putting down just under 800 on the wheels with the last one. Nice. <laughs> Dang, so they already they already know their stuff. I'm scared to see what they do to this then. This is probably the the last spot you'll see these cars just parked off into the side. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta make with what you got out here. There's just RH just scattered all across 
all across the freaking gravel parking lot. Bringing back car meets to the frickin' vlog. We're rolling up to a foggy meet out here in the cotton candy machine. Oh, that was a spot. What's up? I'm on a mission to cop the best seat in the house. And so far, there's a lot of American muscle right where I'm at. So I don't think this is the spot for us. All right, so I guess you could say we cop the prime spot. We're right under corner spot at the Starbucks. This is pretty much the front kind of row of this entire meet. And this just happened to be available. I didn't bribe anyone for this, so. And now everyone's rolling in. We got clean, white, Koki S14. I love that. What's up, man? How you been? Been good. Good, chilling. the car. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I have not been out in this environment in freaking forever. Half of it I miss, half of it I don't miss. I don't miss the freaking firecracker, uh, G35s and ISs that think they're all super cool and all the good stuff, even though it's just really annoying. But I do miss homies, S chassis, underglow. Like right out here, we got an R32 GTR in white. We got an NSX parked right up next to that. So these are some cool JDM gems that you'll just casually see out here at a Washington car meet. You have Extendo Tip Gang with the freaking longest tips you'll ever see, and I'm very, very, very tempted to stand on, but out of the respect to them, I will not. A little bit of an interesting find out here. I'm gonna turn the camera. So, uh, at first glance, this looks like a GT3 RS. It's got the three RS fenders, uh, even the front bumper. This looks like the 991 front bumper, but I knew something about this looks a little bit off. If you come around back here, it is, a turbo, so he freaking basically slapped all the GT3 style stuff onto the turbo platform on here. I don't know how I feel about this because, well that's freaking loud and cool. I swear, by Porsche purest standards, this cannot pass the wave check. There is no way. But, it is a turbo and a GT3 combined in one package. Yeah, they do make that, that's called the GT2 RS, but hey, he wanted to make it his own one of one. Turbo RS. All right, viewers, let me know in the comments below. Has Stance gone too far? Because we cambering out the brand new Corollas out here. Hello, is this yours? Yeah. Yo, I gotta ask the question about this. Has Stance gone too far? No. Because no. this is, you're, you're pushing the boundaries with this one. I mean, how much custom work does it take to freaking? So the rear is a solid axle. Solid axle? It's a solid beam. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight beam. Yeah, so Luke actually uh, tilted the hubs. I figured Luke would be involved with this thing. <laughs> Good old Stancy pants, shout out. I don't know if you guys see that in the distance. Way over there. Those are popo lights. So, in stereotypical meat fashion, the police are coming here and shutting it down. This has literally been like the most stereotypical car meet, I swear. You got Skylines, 240s, packed chaos, the fog just completely sets out the atmosphere. You got muscle cars, you got freaking probably revving VQs in the background. And now the cops are shutting it down. Some freaking followers out here. <laughs> They're just crowding around the car. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Love it, man. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yo, what's up? I forget you lived in Wash. I remember watching your videos when I was real little. Yeah? Yeah. Back in the I was probably doing Forza stuff yeah, only. <laughs> I appreciate you freaking following for that long. Yeah, man. Like you, like my uncle, my grandpa, y'all really got me into cars and everything like that. Especially like back in what? Horizon 3? Yeah. They, Dude, every time someone tells me, like, I helped them get in the cars, like, it's hard. I can't process that. Like, yeah. that, that doesn't work in my brain. Yeah. Like, you know, because I just feel like there's so many factors that could go into, you know, getting people in the cars. But, I mean, I'm honored. Hey, it's nice meeting you, man. Yeah, nice meeting you. All right, let's... 
I think it is time to roll. We got the boys back behind. Oh my gosh, that is freaking God's light back there. You guys can't see any. That is so bright. Nice little scrapage as you do. What are the odds that we just do a fat sitter right in front of this guy right here? Uh, probably zero out of a hundred. S chassis on S chassis action. S14, S14. You better keep that Zenki though. That Zenki stock body, that looking good. Jack, are you in or turbo? Turbo! <laughs> This fog is actually brutal. It is hard to see out here. Got my boy Brandon in his IS. Oh my God, full Jay-Z power in that thing. But yeah, it's actually kind of hard to see out here with the visibility and all the fog. Oh shoot, oh my God, that's a wheel on the road. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh. What I just saw was there was literally a car's wheel and tire just sitting in the middle of the freeway, completely torn off of it from an accident. And then what you probably couldn't see on camera because it was too dark was shortly afterward in the ditch over to the left side of the freeway. There was what didn't even look like a car anymore. It was a car, but it was completely gone. And it must have just happened because there was no police or anything by it. There's police in the area getting to it right now. Just make smart decisions because the odds are is that that was probably someone leaving the meet. It's a lot better to be a freaking boomer driver than just to be obnoxiously dangerous. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more vlogs from more Seattle car meets because I do think we have an awesome car meet culture out here, but it's also like, there, I feel like there is only so much I can film and whatnot, but just let me know down in the comments below. As always, go check out the new merchandise and go rep the style points. It really means a lot to me, and thank you guys all for watching.